हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर शशि त्यागी टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अ सिंप्लेक्स मेथड स्टेप बाय स्टेप कंसीडर बाय सॉल्विंग अ नोमेरिकल एग्जांपल ऑफ दिस टाइप मैक्सिमाइज जेड इक्वल थ्री एक्स वन प्लस फाइव एक्स टू प्लस फोर एक्स थ्री एंड सब्जेक्ट टू कंस्टेंट्स 2x1 एक्स वन प्लस थ्री एक्स टू लेस देन इक्वल टू एट टू एक्स प्लस एंड टू एक्स टू प्लस फाइव एक्स थ्री लेस देन इक्वल टू टेन थ्री एक्स वन प्लस टू एक्स टू प्लस फोर एक्स थ्री लेस देन इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन एंड द वेरिएबल्स एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स थ्री ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो इन दिस वीडियो वी सॉल्व दिस वी सॉल्व दिस एल पी पी बाय simplex method now come to step first the problem is already maximization problem so we need not convert into maximization problem and step 2 all right hand side bi's are positive and step third now convert these inequalities into these inequalities into equations using slack variables x4 x5 x6 in these inequalities so we get this type of constraints first constraint is this uh, using slack variable x4 in second constraint Uh, slack variable x five and th in third constraint slack variable x six. Now finding the initial basic feasible solution in step four. Here we take x one equal to original variables x one x two x three equal to zero, and so we get the in starting initial basic feasible solution is x four equal to eight. A eight x five ten and x six is fifteen. Now come to step five. Step five is construct starting simplex table. In this solution, we make a simplex table. All the simplex table combined. Table first uh, we can write this uh, these tables in this format. Here. we uh, indicate table 1 table 2 and table 3 table 4 and so on and in right hand side of the table we can uh, write here your calculations so we can easily recheck our questions so uh, then uh, we, we make table first starting basic starting simplex table we write here the basic variables y4 y5 y6 the basic variable cost is 0 uh, c4 c5 and c6 here we write right hand side xb x8 10 15 and here we write cj the cost coefficient that means objective function Objective function is three three into x one plus five x four x two four x three and zero the co cost of basic uh, sir uh, slack variables. Here in this row, calculate z equal to c b into x b. Z how to find z? This zero into eight plus zero into ten zero into plus zero into fifteen. Now, in this column, this is, which is delta j, del, delta j is z j minus c j. So in this row, we calculate delta j. And here, in this table, we calculate minimum ratio x b over y k, provided y k greater than zero. Students, keep in mind y k greater than zero. so we have uh, the value of y k is negative or zero we need not calculate 
minimum ratio you put here dash only so this is the uh, it is the our first table now come to next step where we test the optimal test optimal test for optimal solution we check the value of delta j delta j choose the maximum delta j you can see easily in this row of delta j 5 is the maximum delta j this is the incoming vector so y2 is enter in basic and now find here delta minimum ratio minimum ratio is this 8 by 3 that means this vector is out from the base the corresponding this row the vector is y4 so x2 enter y2 enter and y4 is out the intersection of incoming row and incoming column is known as this element is butyl element or key element in the next step our aim is make this element 3 is 1 by dividing this row up to from 8 to this 0 by 3 so we get a new row is this is this form 8 by 3 2 by 3 1 0 1 by 3 0 and second step is using this new row we make the element 2 is 0 this first row new row with the help of this first row using this element 2 is 0 and in next this element 2 is also 0 this is a 2 3 this is a 2 2 this is a 2 2 and this is a 3 2 using only row operations that means with the help of this new this new row so we get a second table second simplex table is this form again calculate z z is this 5 into 8 by 3 plus 0 into this plus 0 into this the value of z is 40 by 3 now calculate delta j and choose maximum delta j is 4 that means the 4 is means x3 enter in basic and again calculate minimum ratio minimum ratio we put dash here because this value yk this value yk is 0 so we need not calculate minimum ratio you simply put dash here and calculate this two minimum ratio 14 by 15 29 by 12 choose this is minimum that means this is outgoing vector so intersection of these incoming row and in outgoing vector is 5 again repeat the same procedure we can we get the table third where y2 y3 enter and y4 y6 is out now again repeat this process we get table 4 in table 4 you can see easily all the slack variables out of this basic and calculate z value of z and delta j delta j is 0 0 0 minus this again minus and this is also minus uh, my, uh, this is minus 11 by 41 so now check the optimal test since all delta j less than equal to 0 that means we get an optimal solution so we uh, here optimal solution is x1 
equal 89 by 41 x2 equal to 50 by 41 x3 equal to 62 by 41 and maximum value maximize value of 765 over 41 we can write this vector uh, solution as a vector form is x equals these values x1 x1 x2 x3 and maximum zds that's all about simplex method uh, in this video we solve um, the lpp by step by step i hope you understand well if you like this video please press the like button and write a comment in comment box uh, students if you need these notes in written form please write your whatsapp number or email address in my comment box so i can able to provide these notes and so thanks for watching this video and have a good day